Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here for another weekend. Um, it is weird weather here because it was nice last weekend. Now it's hot again and next weekend's supposed to be nice. So we're just kind of sweating. Not really sure what to do. We keep a jacket by the front door, but we also keep our sandals because we're not sure how it's going to be when we walk outside. Um, That's how California is. That <laughs> we works. love it. So cow. But they say, we say we love it. <laughs> That's Super okay. expensive to pay for this unpredictable weather. Anyways, this is Linda. I am Cameron. <laughs> We are going to show you guys what's sold in our online store. If you're new, we sell stuff on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, things we buy at garage sales, thrift stores, and estate sales, and we try to flip it online for a profit, hopefully buying low enough for us to make some money on the back end. We're going to show you all the items for a whole weekend worth of sales. Linda will break down the numbers first, then we'll show you the items, give you an idea of what they look like, what's sold, and then before taxes. So numbers first. We did 43 sales this weekend, and actually two of them while i was helping cameron pull orders popped through so i was like oh Very kept cool. kept uh, refreshing oh new order oh new order so that, that was awesome um but we did just over fifteen hundred dollars for this weekend yes we did and the first item sold on another platform starting off on depop we got this pair of miss me jeans they are the signature boot cut and 3129s and those sold for 28 dollars buyer paid shipping um yeah so we paid i think five bucks for those no actually maybe it was less than that maybe three bucks i don't know but miss me some people on youtube linda's probably heard it too they'll say hey don't buy miss me it's not selling anymore and it's not selling for what it was but we sold four miss me pairs of jeans um between mercari and depop two on each and we sold them within the past probably three or four weeks and they've also pretty quickly for the price we wanted mm -hmm. anywhere from 25 plus shipping to you know 30, 30 35 35 plus shipping may have been the highest one yeah. so not a ton of money but if you're getting them for a couple bucks at a garage sale and they had a big embroidery ones the ones that you remember as misby i'd grab them see if you can move some of them yep so that's the only thing on different platform everything else was on ebay we'll jump into that first up we've got this eggs in a thousand ways a guidebook a guide for the preparation of eggs cookbook it's from 1917 very old beat up book this came in a bundle from my main source and he's like oh here's an old book and, and old books don't aren't always valuable guys no. if you're one of when you first start reselling sometimes you think old means money and it doesn't always sometimes it does but not a lot a lot of times it doesn't he saw this book he thinks old is valuable no matter what it is and he'll give you something and it's like that's worth nothing but i was like let me check it and there wasn't a lot of comps but i listed it and mine sold for 24 dollars ship which is crazy for a little book like that it's funny because the picture it's very it's a nice bright yellow it kind of gives me like an omelet vibe yeah it looks like an omelet <laughs> yeah this uh but i would have never thought that would have sold so i was happy about it and it sold pretty quickly then our forever 21 buy we purchased a lot of barbie items barbie uh branded items these uh you guys have seen we sold the white pairs a lot um and this is we only had like one three. or two pink pairs i think we had like three pink ones in total like two they were two or three they were like they were on clearance and so i was like hey the barbie movie's coming out cameron we should buy them and he's well, like it was like a year before it came out yeah he's like Okay, because so, they've been, they had been advertising it for so long, and I was like, let's do it, let's grab them and hold them, and so we did, and our white ones all sold. No, not all of them. We sold only white ones so far. Yeah, because, we still have white ones yeah. left. We paid six bucks a piece. Brand, there were tops and bottoms. We parted them out because we didn't have matching sets for every color. Yeah, because like they're in, they're that terry cloth, and they had the the matching jacket to the pants yeah so we sold them separately but we paid six bucks a, six, six bucks a piece <laughs> and this one sold for 37 and a half shipped. the pink ones are listed for higher they're a little bit more barbie because of the pink so we listen them higher the white ones have sold but for a little bit less so there we are and then we've got rabbit hash the center of the universe on dvd sealed silver 26 and some change one of those weird movies never heard of it before scanned it looked it up there weren't a ton of sold but only a couple listed and mine sold out that's a two dollar um thrift store buy that's awesome then we got a microsoft natural ergonomic keyboard the 4000 and that sold for 50 dollars shipped picked it up at sabers just, just this last weekend yep and Tested it out. It was there you go five or six bucks uh these ergonomic ones mike by microsoft do well we sold quite a few of them so. people still like that ergonomic stuff then we've got a vintage metrolink pin badge lots uh for the la public transportation and yeah. looks like we got years 98 99 01 and 04 
and those did sell for $25 shipped. And there's a whole bunch of different little pins in here, so I'm just happy to see those ones go. Then, um, just last week, we sold a pair of Billabong uh, women's road tripping shorts, and those were like a cheetah print or an animal print. This, today, we sold a pair of pink ones, and size, that's size small, small yep. for $30 shipped. Four bucks, though, so very good deal on that. We have a bunch of the pink ones, only one more of the animal print ones left. So then if you want to get it, you gotta get them quick. Then we have an eBay International sale. Um, this is from um, our D and D buy, so Cameron purchased a lot of stuff for D and D, mostly um, books and the guides and all that different stuff. This is the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons L two, the Assassins Knot. Everyone knows about L two. Yeah, and that sold for forty dollars shipped. <laughs> then much harder than L one. <laughs> through the woods, the hardcover comic book Tartamella. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's the publisher, maybe, but that did sell Pretty for. Good. Images in there. Almost eighteen dollars shipped. Yeah, so that was a good one. It right. must be one that somebody like got to publish themselves, and they were pretty. Happy I think it was it. two or three bucks, and it ships media, so we're okay with that. This one's cool. You would never, th of all the things we sold, this is probably the one thing you would not think would be worth this much. This is a vintage Whitman brand nineteen eighty one set of giant fish card game. So I, it's probably just like go fish. Um, sealed. Got this sealed. For like I don't even know where. I don't know. Maybe at a garage sale for a couple bucks, but sealed, guys. And it Just is... think, what would you pay? People are probably going to say 20 25 $30, $2 is what it sold for. No, just kidding. What did it sell for? It sold for $48 shipped. Plus international shipping. Yeah, so they're paying probably really like 60 this bucks game. for this thing. So uh, <laughs> you never know, guys. There's some old rummy sets that sell really well. There's old little card things, that, if they're, especially if they're sealed. If you get a sealed skip bow, that's a set that usually sells skip yeah. bow. And we sold a couple of sealed ones of those before, and we find like the ones from the 90s or 2000s or whatever and they still make new ones but if you find a seal one maybe look it up so next then from our library's used bookstore we picked up iron eagle 3 for on dvd sold for 14 and some change that was probably two or three bucks then from our dead stock we've got a lot of two elizabeth taylor's forever not elizabeth a great picture because i took one and then i realized the comps were all selling them as sets of two and that was how you were going to get that price so mine only shows one but it says lot of two which is what it is so for 30 dollars shipped then we got this pair of women's size 10 Converse. These are the white extra high top Chuck sneakers. Um, and those did sell for $49 shipped. They're stained up a little bit. They're not perfect, so. And these are not to the knee ones. These are probably. The knee ones do better. Probably like a third up your calf. They're so they're not super high. Yeah. But $49 shipped, still pretty good. That was an offer. Then we got a pair of Nike Flex Experience women's size 8.5. Sold for $30 shipped. Not the best Nikes, but... Then from Camp 2023, we've got this Bionaire 5-button remote control. Did we sell this before? Yeah, the guy didn't look at He just thought it was Bionaire, so it would work with every unit, and it didn't work with this. And we sold it again for $18 shipped. So. Then this vintage 90s Element skateboard binder. Um, it's just a binder, guys. <laughs> um, it doesn't even have the pockets on the inside. Who needs that? But it's Element, a bunch of skateboards in the back and stuff. And that did sell for almost 33 and a half I ships. think it was three bucks at the thrift store. Yeah, we picked that up one at our local thrift store. Then we got a golf club. This is the X Factor Hammer. The three hybrid 20 degree right hand smart shaft. Not a great club. No, and it sold for almost $21 shipped, which is Mm, we're probably gonna like we might make a dollar or two a dollar. we really wanna because the box we use are a couple bucks for the boxes for the clubs now so we don't get the can't use the free tubes yeah. um so we usually want to sell a club for about 20 weeks forget it for a couple bucks we can still make some money shipping it or whatever so mm -hmm. uh, we usually try to find ones that sell for 28 or more but then, the old one's got to get out of here, too. The Samsung Jet 70 Series, the cordless stick vacuum. Cameron pulled off the motorized brush tool, and that sold for $25 and a half shipped. Then this one, we're not really sure. we got to figure out the thing on it because it got canceled, it's but sold, it's got still paid, there. Got but bought, it's yeah, paid right away. Um, it is, personal, it is one of our floral. It's a Le Sport Sack, one of our wristlet wallet. Um, they're pretty cool. We've got we got a bunch of them in different paisley prints and floral prints. And I think Cameron said you paid like five or less. I paid. I got four or five of them for twenty bucks. Yeah. So it was either four or five bucks. However many I got, and we already sold one. I think for twenty or eighteen. We or sold two different ones. Sold two. Linda said so. Um, this one was paid for right away, and then immediately it says the buyer was suspicious buyer. But it still shows it paid and everything. They didn't cancel the sale. So I'm going to have, we're going to have to probably reach out to eBay and find out what to do. So I'm not sure. Because usually I've had it where they've canceled the sale or it's already been shipped and it's too late. 
But at this point, you know, I'm going to talk to eBay and see what they want to say. And it's funny because the retail tag on there says $32 and we actually sold it for $35 ship. Because so. we're here to make some money. There you go. Then this buyer, we're not sure if it's a... It Maybe a viewer. So if it viewer, is... Viewer. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but they purchased a Pentax IQ Zoom uh, camera tested as is and a extra large shirt with Tupac on it. And that sold for, so that pair sold for $35 ship. Again, a different combination. So kind of interesting because we don't usually expect a, repeat or a buyer to buy two random things like that. So if it is a viewer, thank you so much. Didn't put a message in there, but we appreciate it. Then we got a Cal Baptist lapel hat badge or pin or whatever and that sold for ten dollars shipped that came with all those other pins the metrolink ones the carnival cruise one we sold the other day all those are from the same batch and actually i didn't even put much value when i got all that and it's actually already sold 55 dollars worth of pins so. nice Crazy. then we got a lot of five creatology holiday make it and bake it ornaments we sold a make it and bake it different brand the other day yeah and these did sell for almost 24 dollars shipped for the five pack and i think i got these for like 3.99 for all of them so then we'll first class, another one of our Afghans sold. Uh, it's the Granny Squares. This is like the um, most one of the most common ones. This style with the dark trim or whatever. Yeah, and so this one is about seventy two by sixty three. It's a big blanket. Um, so the base is black and then it's all multicolor on the inside, and that sold for fifty two and a half ships. We're happy with those. So we have a whole bunch of them yeah. in. And um, it's going to Cali. They're going where? where is LA. that they're in those, What are they called? Vacuum bags. So they're up there in oh, vacuum space bag. bags. Yeah. Space bags, yeah. So we sold one the other day. We still have 30 more to sell, 25 more to sell. It's going to take forever. But at least we're selling some. We oh, like to I see. I tried to get like eight in each bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe we got 30, 40. I don't know. Some of them are smaller, though. Yeah. So not all of them are. That's like the biggest That's a big probably, one, yeah. probably the biggest one. Yeah. And yeah, in those bags, I think I only got like two or three, maybe four big ones in those with a couple of small ones. But yeah. So yeah. we got a bunch to sell. But we're already in the profit probably at this point for what I paid if we've sold enough. But And now that we've got them in space bags, they're a lot easier to manage because they were just in totes and they were all over the place. Yeah, they're out of the way now. They're really not even bothering us at all. So I don't mind this We're happy now. when yeah. they sell. We just, I pull open it, to... pull it, suck all the air out of it and stick it back up there. Yep. Super great. Then we got a JVC video cassette recorder and VHS player. Um, this did sell for $68 shipped. It does have the remote. I got to find word. I think yeah. it might have fell back behind it over there. I got to look for it. Then we got another golf club. This is an Adams Golf Idea A70S Hybrid 5 Iron. Um, it is a right-handed club, and it did sell for $37 shipped. There's that bad boy. Only was listed for like two or three days. Nice. Then Cameron got a bunch of key fobs and he's been listing them up. This is an Audi key fob and that sold for $38 shipped. Mm -hmm. I paid 40 for all of them and I thought I lost some and then I found them. It was a really cool thing. But anyways, we sold one the other day for I think 25 or 30, 30 I think. And then this one. So in the profit now and I have probably six more to sell. Okay, next up we've got a Black & Decker Power Pro Dough Blade. Sold for nine and some change. Not a whole lot. Then from Camp 2023, we have a genuine KLH audio system remote. This is a good one. Sold for $28 shit. Is from this week? Oh, this year? Yeah, this oh, year. Oh, yeah. That's probably one of the best remotes we got, aside from that Bose one. There. Yeah, that's a good one. Then, when a star falls, Dungeons & Dragons adventure module. The star falls, not good. The UK4 version sold for $33 ship. This on all the D and D stuff, if you're new, I spent a whole box full for forty bucks. It's probably going to be fifty listings of stuff. So we're already Look waiting out for the that D and D stuff. Yeah, basically. we're already probably we're almost we're probably pushing two hundred in sales, and I have I've just started listing. I list a little bit at a time, and it's going to be a great when it all sells. Then one of my flags sold. This is the Thanksgiving turkey garden flag. It's a giant, adorable little turkey. Decorate for Thanksgiving. And that sold for 11 and some change. Very nice. Then we got a TaylorMade M4 Fairway wood head cover. Sold for $12 shipped. Mm -hmm. Then God's Generals on DVD. Sold for 10 and some change. We will take it. Then Cameron parted out a Nespresso Virtual That's what Espresso I do. Machine. This is the replacement black bin in the back. I believe it's for... Is it for the trash? The grounds or whatever? I don't know. I don't know what the it's for. doesn't have a ground. I don't know what it's for. All I know is I just parted it out. But that's still sold for 25 and a half shipped. Then we have this adorable 1987 Burger King Alvin and the Chipmunks Simon Plush cute. toy. He's not worth anything. With the uh, available tag. To and Randy from Mommy. Oh, man. Poor Randy. Hopefully Randy bought it. And that sold for seven Did and Randy a half shipped. It? Let's see. 
No. Close. It's some place no, that... It's not close at all. It looks like some place that buys, like, nostalgic toys. But seven and a half shipped on him. Then we got a pair of Adidas, the NMD R1 PK Glitch uh, Camo Sneakers. So size 10 and a half, sold for 36 and some change. Yes, they did. Then we got this rare vintage 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collectible placemat. Looks cool. There you go. It's adorable. And that sold for $23 shipped. Not a whole lot, but we'll take it. Then this is a good um, one. we've been selling the Celebrity Roast Dean Martin status, um, just the single DVDs. Status. Um, Dean Martin status. Not, He's you, a status. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Can you, can you be at Dean Martin status? Right now you're not. I guess, but... Anyways, <laughs> Dean Martin status DVDs. No. Dean Martin Collections. Roasts roast of Dean Martin. No, he roasts people. The Dean Martin roasting the celebrities DVDs. And Cameron then found this at... Don't know where. At an estate sale. Second... It was half off day. I go to the garage. I, this, I know the estate sale coming in pretty well, but bunch of dvds and then i see this box sitting behind them and i go are you kidding me no one picked this up now granted i opened it up and it was missing a dvd but it was actually in the actual dvds that were there so i grabbed it put it in bought this i think for 10 bucks uh, i knew it would probably sell this complete collection and it sold for 125 dollars shipped what a deal much better than the individual dvd no we sold some of the individual sealed ones for 20 30 40 bucks because people were probably using them 20 to 30 40 yeah it's multiple numbers we sold them for different prices Next up, uh, from Hirsch Dose, we the got a... marriage advice, just reach out. We have a Geotrax train. This is the green cargo cars one. Uh, it's not electric, and it doesn't no. have the remote with it or anything, and that sold for almost $13 ship. Not a whole lot on that one. The electric ones, we did sell those ones pretty well, the ones that, when they work, we tested them. Yes. They were selling for like 20 to 30 bucks a piece, train and little um, tender or whatever. Yeah. Then Cam reported out a Shark Rocket Duo Clean Vacuum Cleaner. This is the Motorhead and Main Body, and that sold for $32. The shipped. Motorhead doesn't sell for a lot, so we're, we'll make like maybe 10 on this, not a whole lot. The actual nozzle at the ground, because there's like a, a little wand that goes into here, and then it goes down to the little head nozzle. That's the part that sells the best for this unit, so... There you go. Then Camp 2020, we picked up this set of Beverly Hills 90210 <laughs> Complete Seasons 1 through 6. There's four of them. Uh, season set five, five of the sets are sealed. One of them is open. First, yeah, someone bought them in the first season they watched, and they're like, I'm done with this show. And they didn't want to open the rest. Not even happening. And that sold for 55 and some change. The reason that took forever, guys, is because it was listed for like $100. And when I listed that, I, what I thought the comp was. Maybe that was during COVID still. The prices were kind of high for DVD sets. And because people wanted to watch stuff. I went back, and I'm like, why haven't these sold yet? They're all sealed. And I'm like, went back. It wasn't near where, what they were. So I dropped it down, I think, to 60 And then it sent a 7% off to watch and it's all so there we go um sometimes you got to go back and look at your items or see why if you think something should have sold check it out then we got the kurzwell's sp58 musicians guidebook manual so 15 dollars shipped mm -hmm. everyone knows about whatever this is for then a repeat buyer purchased our copy of re the rebirth of african civilization paperback so for almost 22 dollars shipped and that is all Ooh. we have Really not that bad of a packing. No, day. it's not. It's mostly small, a lot of media. I uh, got the little vacuum clubs and the VCR, the only real big or challenging Yeah, everything things. else is going to be really Keyboard, I guess, nice. is a little bit weird, but nothing super bulky. And a pretty good number. What were we, 1,500 or 1,500, yeah. We will take it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this is some stuff you can keep an eye out for. There's nothing here that I think is impossible to find. This is all stuff that might be out there. Got to learn research find out what sells and explore new categories that's what we've done a lot of people are like really niching down to one we like to sell in a little bit of everything and we feel like it helps us have better consistent sales plus it's more fun so linda she's just here for the ride no she does all the pack <laughs> she's all the packing and the customer service messaging so sometimes she buys stuff at like savers and stuff like that but she's she only go garage selling if it's like 4 p.m i'm telling you guys i think we should start a trend of uh you know nighttime sales I think it would be something cool for all the people who can't well, get out in the morning. One of my friends, he, you know? he had, they have like Thursday night is like the first night of a garage sale. So they'll open in the late afternoon and people will come by and they start Friday That's morning the saying. next day. You get off of work, go hit some sales on your way home. I just, the problem is, is I still would be I working. I see it, so. you know, and not only that, but think about the, the states that have, it's too cold in the morning. You know, right. you go and you do it in the evening or towards the afternoon when it might warm up a little bit. Those things are probably cold. That people get up, they have brunch, and then they go sailing. You know, it's just I think it would be a great move. 
I think she it just would does not want to have to get up early, good. guys. So listen, I have to get up early to put get Zane to school every morning. So I think I just want to sleep in on Saturday. I hear you. Anyways, one of us gets up, one of us uh, doesn't. It's called teamwork. Someone outside may have just crashed. Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.